Today I'm going to be doing the Starburst Rock Cycle Experiment. What you'll need is multicolored Starburst. And I'm gonna open these. After you got the wrappers off the starburst, you will take a scissor and cut these into small pieces. And do this experiment in front of a parent. So now we finished cutting the starbursts into small pieces and these pieces are parts of a sedimentary rock. So what you'll do is combine them up to make it a sedimentary rock. So these parts are called a sedimentary rock. It, it, it looks like tiny rocks and it's colorful and it's cool. So now what you'll do is combine it to make it look like a small rock. Come on, Evihana. Get him some more. This is tough. You, got, you need some help? So now these are sedimentary rocks and they are pretty colorful too. Right Nihana? And they're really noisy to put on wood. Yeah. And then, whoa, it fell down. It's oh, a pretty rolly. It'll be probably more rollier if you keep. So now these rock, these rocks became a sedimentary rock. And did you see before how they're just tiny bits and now they became a rock and how they combine? So now these are called sedimentary rocks. Now we've got our sedimentary rocks. And now what we're going to do is turn our sedimentary rocks into a metamorphic rock. To turn this, what we will do is add more heat and more pressure. So what you will need is a Ziploc bag and you'll put the sedimentary rock into the Ziploc bag. And now what you will do is add press. And now what you will do is, is squeeze in all like, add some heat and add lots of pressure. And it, does, it doesn't need to be a ball. It doesn't need to be flat. You just need to Some more pressure and heat. I mean, this is pretty hard. This is starting to turn into a metamorphic rock. So now you're still turning it into a metamorphic rock and you can see there are a few less colors whole well, kind of 
and we will need a squeezer. You need some help? Yeah. Oh, that's real hard. Trying to become metamorphic rocks. Orange. Oh boy. Mine is even orange. So by now, it, all the colors have like blended. It's orange. Or red from uh, us. And it should be softer than the cemetery, cemetery rock. Let's open it. And let's open it. Yeah, and I said it feels like slime. Yeah, and it's softer than sedimentary rock. And what's it called? This rock? Sedimentary. No, that's what we turn the sedimentary into the minimum. What is it? Metamorphic. Yeah, so this is now the sed metamorphic rock. And to turn this into an igneous rock, what you will use is the double boiler method. And for this, you should use help from your parents. So the double boiler method is where you take a big container and fill it up with water and keep it boiling. And then we'll use stove safe contain small containers to put our metamorphic rocks. But when you add this into our a big container with boiling water, you wouldn't want to put it under the water, you keep it over the water, but it's okay if a few a bit of water comes on, but not no water should come on. It will be better if there is no water on it. And use help from your parents. So now it has been in the double boiler method and you can see it's sticky and all. And so what you'll do to make it turn into igneous rock is you let it cool down, take it out of the double boiler method and let these cool down for an hour or two. And now we got out of the double boiler method and it's all melted and it's sticky and it's red like in the beginning so now we'll let it cool like i already said and it'll turn into a hard igneous rock after one to 24 hours so now this is how it looks after one hour and you can see it's really hard and you can see it has hardened up so now this has became our igneous rock so now, so this will happen after one hour. It became igneous rock. So now we have kept it in the freezer for around 10 to 20 minutes. And we did that so the process would go faster. So now let's get out of the aluminum foil. And you can see it's really hard. And it broke because it became really hard. And now let's see if the harness gets off. Whoa, hers is really hard. Like a like a dog like I just This is so hard, I guess like you can't even get off the aluminum foil. So now we got it out of the aluminum foil. And you can see that the igneous rock has finally came out and it's hard. And this so what the rock process is, we started with the sedimentary rock and then we added more pressure and heat 
that made it become a metamorphic rock. Then we boiled it and like it was looking like it was in a lava magma and all, and we turned it into a igneous rock. So what we did today was use Starburst to show the rock cycle. Um, tell yummy. Now you eat it. Mm. Yeah, and it's really yummy, so it's edible rocks. And it's really yummy, and what, what about you? Is it really yummy? Yeah. What does it taste like? Strawberry. Well, for me, it tastes so many sorts of flavors, I can't think of it. Mostly it tastes like strawberry, but I really can't decide one flavor. I hope you like the Starburst Rock Cycle experiment. And we went through the whole process while using Starburst, and at the end, we could we made an edible Starburst rock from the big uh, th throughout the video. Did you you saw that how it was changing from a sedimentary rock to a metamorphosis to a igneous rock, and all at the same time, it's really yummy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share and give it a big thumbs up.